What's up guys, I'm Ethan and this is my first video. Just letting you know before, this isn't going to be like the best video you've ever seen. Because I'm still trying to get the gist of the whole YouTube society, whatever, filming. You want to, whatever you want to call it. But I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I'm going to be doing and a little bit about myself. So my channel is going to be mostly about quad riding and BMXing. I may do other things every once in a while, but it'll be what you guys want to see. We'll see. So, I'm going to, I'll try and get back to you, send me any comments or what you want me to do, I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. But right now I'm going to show you my, my BMX bike and my quad. Let's start with my bike. Let's go. Alright, whatever. Let's go. Okay. So this is my 2015 King Curb, and I put some parts on it. The original owner had like ripped grips and a broken sprocket from whatever the heck he did. Um, so I put new grips on, I put brakes on, I put pegs on, and yeah, I put new pedals on because the little grippy thingy knob things there or, like, I don't know, like, wearing down a lot. So, yeah, that's that's my 2015 Kink Curb. My favorite part about it is these little dice down here. They're cool. It's probably my favorite part. And the bronze, or whatever you want to call that color, cap on the top for the compression cap. All right, now let's go to my quad. Let's go. Okay, this is my 2001 Honda 250 EX, and yeah, it does me really well. I ride on it all the time. I'll have a bunch of riding videos, and I'll have them on my GoPro, so yeah, I put tons of parts on this thing. I got it, I got it like three-ish years ago, I think, three or four, so yeah, I put back tires on it I put a bunch of parts on it and it runs well runs really good put this hitch on it so I can pull trailers with it if I need to go burn or whatever I need to do on it so yeah that's that that's my quad okay so now we're walking down to my ramp over here and I'm going to show you my ramp I did have ramps previously before this but I had to take them down because we were building and we had to have a sand mound and stuff so I had to scrape them all up so the sand could go on this road so this is my remaining dirt after I built one jump already there's a good bit of dirt here but this is my jump and I did have jumps all the way down that whole road so there, there was a lot of jumps there was like six or seven pretty sure so this jump are my biggest jumps I've built but I've ha I've ridden bigger jumps um but I've never built big bigger jumps than this but yeah so this is the jump beside my little brother um it's about like little over waist height so this one this part I thought it was gonna be a good idea and it was going to jump straight up on there. But after I built that, I realized that's not happening. So, it we had, like, it rained for, like, two weeks. Not straight, but it rained, like, all day. And then it, near the nighttime, it didn't rain. So, the this part of it right here fell apart. And the back part fell apart. So... And a little bit there cracked off, but as as of now, it, it dried out pretty well, which is good. There's a few little puddles here and there, but that'll be okay. Yeah, there's a bunch of riding trails all through the woods around here, and if you want me to build trails and stuff, I can if you would like me to. So that's that's about all I have to tell you. So yeah, catch you on the next one. Peace. Subscribe.